Justin Balog reporting live from Ragbri. In 2019, myself and two friends, Melissa and Kelly, joined over 15,000 people in an annual migration that has evolved into the world's greatest cycling festival, a week-long, non-stop carnival of riding and wonder. We set out to discover the spirit of Ragbri. What we found were pool parties, tent cities, small towns, tribes, Batman, super cute dogs, roller derbies, and something they call Iowa Nice. This is the Register's annual Great Bicycle Ride Across Iowa. You know, it's a thing. I don't know, it's an experience, that's for sure. <laughs> That's right, the first night of Ragbri concluded with a Van Halen concert. Well, a band supposed to be Van Halen, and Kiss, and Ozzy Osbourne, and Cinderella, and Def Leppard, and Whitesnake, like the best cover band ever. How did Van Halen end up in a small town in Iowa? How did we get there? It all started in 1973, when writers from the Des Moines Register challenged themselves to a legendary act of gonzo journalism. They set out to ride across the entire state of Iowa and publish articles of their findings along the way. 47 years later, the event has grown from two journalists to over 15,000 super nice people. We're gonna take you on a journey through Iowa on Ragbrite 47. What's your name, man? Roger. How long have you done Ragbrite? 26 Ragbrite. 26 years. Um, coast to coast, nine years. And you just throw, why do you, what do you, what's Ragbri, what's, what's Ragbri? Well, it's Sturgis for bicycles. <laughs> Basically the way you put it. It is. Simplest, simplest analogy, Sturgis for bicycles. So, uh, the world's biggest bicycle ride, there's no doubt about it. Well, I'm a big time rider, you know, already over a million kilometers, over a million, that was last year. About the Batmobile. A friend of mine I ride with said, you know, because I had a black track, you should be a Batman. So I really, you know, it was his idea. It just got a mind of its own. You know how that is. It seems like what Ragbri is, just a mind of its own. Yeah. And everyone is so friendly. So, so friendly. Um, what do you think, what, what have you learned about Ragbri now that we're in day two? What's new? What, what's, what's your vibe about Ragbri? What's my vibe? Slow down. That, I mean, to me. <laughs> That's mandatory. You just gotta slow down to be able to take in every single thing that Iowa has to offer. These are the best. The water filling stations, yes, because then you don't waste all the plastic bottles. This is my goal with each town is to find one of these things. Filling up. Mom and Pop will just be sitting out on their lawn, like welcoming everybody. And we're like, yeah. That's Ragbri right there. We were talking about it earlier. I've gone through a, a metamorphosis, if you will, from the beginning of Ragbri. Now we're midpoint, and it's happening. So I've transitioned from like super sleek, matchy matchy kits <laughs> tomorrow. Today was the bandana swag off the back of my saddle. So that's one thing, bike bling. And then tomorrow I'm going full de brim. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody says. And apparently that's the whole vibe of this thing. You don't care what anybody thinks or what anybody says. Um, there's people rocking sandals. There's a guy in a Speedo. And there's these things. Why did I come to Ragbri? For me, it was more about an opportunity of being able to slow down for once and to really look inward and to remind myself of why I even got on a bike in the first place. And um, it's shown me, reminded me of all different types of people that love to ride bikes. Tomorrow, uh -huh. tomorrow is 80 some miles. I think it's 85 miles with the option to do 116, I think. Option to do a century if you want. 
anxiety level for me is way up here because this will be the longest ride I've ever done, um, like in a day. I've done a metric century and I've you know, now ridden 65 miles a day for the last three days and I'm feeling pretty good, but tomorrow I'm a little stressed out about, um, not stressed out about, I know I can do it, but it's gonna take me a, a long time. And with the heat, that's another factor for me. Um, but I'm just gonna go at my own pace. I'm gonna go rag ride pace. Justin Bailey reporting live from Ragbri uh, 2019. Um, this is exactly the halfway point, and at this point, we've become completely pro Ragbriers. I don't even know if that's a thing, but we've come uh, off the town square where the, the normal meetup is for what we've discovered is a grocery store chain called High V. So High V is going to provide us um, our lunch today. We're going to have salad bar. We're going to have kombucha. We're going to have fair trade organic chocolate. Uh, we're going to have air conditioning. We're going to have restrooms. So the locals told us it's like, oh, it's really far away, guys. It's probably uh, 10 blocks. Um, after you've ridden uh, all the way across Iowa, 10 blocks is nothing. Is high V the pro, like the pro tip? I think this is a pro tip. I think this is totally on the DL, pro tip. Like, go to a high V. That's where I had dinner last night, too. Soup, salad, salad bar, everything's delicious. And it was like $7 for all of this. So if you wanna like live it up and do it right, detour to the high V. Hey guys, behind us, this is Kelly right here. Right now, we just passed her longest ride ever. <laughs> What's up, Kelly? How's it feel? Woo! Awesome. Hey, I'm Scott Ginnivan. Uh, our team name is the Cycle Pass from Oscaloosa, Iowa. We've got beverages, right? Oh yeah. my God, this is Every luxury. Time. This. Scott, say hi. You're the bus captain. How about oh, one of these? Where are you oh, from? here you go. Um, I'm from Idaho. Here you go. Idaho. Give us the history of this thing, buddy. <laughs> uh, bus came up for bid. We bid on it. We won it on April Fool's Day for twelve hundred and fifty dollars. What? Serious? Well, we got about 7,000 on top of that. <laughs> I got a Hawkeye plate, which is the Iowa Hawkeyes, and we asked for this license plate that says, we're psycho. The state called and says, are you sure you want the psycho, which is Iowa State, on your Iowa plate? I'm like, yeah, we're psycho. How'd you meet these guys? Uh, some high school friends. And then we just kind of kept track of each other over the years. Uh, the guys from Ohio, uh, work friend, and then he brought his bicycling team, and you know, and then everybody says, well, how do you decide who gets to ride next year? Well, we have the team this year has the first rider refusal. It's the only fair way to do it. This is Team Booze Hound. And it's been in operation since when? 2003. Yeah, the first trip all the way across Iowa was 2005. How's it, how's, what's it mean? What's it mean to be a team member of Team Booze Hound? Like, how does it work? Um, well, you just get on our team and ride across Iowa, and <laughs> that's about it, I guess. We have a bathroom back here. And a shower. And a shower. Well, yeah. If you want to see the shower, come on back. Hold on a second. That's the shower there? This is the shower. So we put up this. You know, it's kind of dirty, but anyway, we put up this plastic thing, whatever it is, tarp, and then um, they just come in and basically <laughs> use this and shower. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm probably a little bit, wait, which way is which way? Lit. You are lit, tipsy. <laughs> you're still tipsy. Now you're lit. Now you're Oh, probably more lit, more tipsy. Yeah, right, we're kind of, we're kind of just in the middle yeah, there, the so.
was my first rag ride. And instead of just riding a bike, I thought I'd build a banjo so I can ride and have a banjo to play in the little towns that we'd stop in. So I built this banjo. This is one of the original, and I say one because I've built actually seven banjos, but this one in particular is a pressure cooker pot and a table leg. This is my this is my water pack. This is the hydrator. And it's simply this little cord here with a connector. And I just connect the banjo to it like that. And I ride with this, you know, on, on my back the whole time. How long you been doing it? Uh, I've been at it quite a while. I started when I was 12 and I'm 78, so it's been a while. How many rag rides? Oh gosh, I've been doing this close to 30 years, I think. You're OG, you're legend. <laughs> Thank you. How many tents do you think are here? Uh, there's 21 with us and two couples, so I think there's 19. 19 tents? 19 tents. Well, there's four ways that people stay in places. One, they do it the, the cheapest way possible and they put their baggage on the, uh, the, the one register truck and then they take it off at the end of the day and they just find a place to put their tent up. Second is like what we do, is we find people that are willing to allow us to come spend time in their yard. And the third way is people actually will call the Chamber of Commerce, they will hook up and, have, and then actually stay in people's homes. So that's less groups as are individuals or couples that do that. And the third way, or the fourth way now, is there's a lot of commercialized large, large groups that do everything from supply the tents and the transportation and everything else. And they will take over a campground with 200 people associated with their group. So there's a number of ways to do it, but everybody seems to have fun as they do it, so. If you, since you've done it that many times, what would you consider the spirit of RAGBRAI to be? Oh, it's, it's the hospitality, hospitality of the Iowa people. Uh, We've never been a place that you don't feel welcome. You know, there's, there's lots of anecdotal stories about people that have helped out other people. People made friendships for their whole life with people they've met in town. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to do. Yeah, we were just sitting here, we, in the first year, but five years ago when they came to here, we sat out here and got, you know, waved the people and welcomed them to Fairfield. And just said, they'd say hi, we'd say, you know, be safe and take it easy and, and have fun. And, we came out in the night and they came back by going to Obie Nelson and we said, hi guys, good night and all this stuff. And <laughs> we had a good time doing that. We thought, well, we're just gonna set out here. We don't do rag bry, only this at here. And we put our sign out, rock on rag bry. So, and we like to support it. It's good for our town and so we enjoy it. What's, what's the spirit of rag bry? Fun. fun, super fun. Yeah, seeing Iowa, meeting the locals, hearing oh. the stories, it's in our the backyard. people, the history, peddling, peddling, peddling. The this is my fifth year riding rag ride, and I did my first when I was seven years old, all the way across the state on my own mountain bike. It's my fifth year of riding, and I haven't walked a hill yet, so wow, doing okay. That's impressive. Why do you like riding your bike, man? Um. I don't know, it's just really my favorite thing. I've been doing it since I was almost four and it's just really fun. I love riding my bike. You, uh, if you had one point of wisdom for like a new rag briar, what would you tell them? You got this. Katie, but my skate name is Bambi Bloodlust. 
Uh, but it's, yeah, my roller derby name, and it kind of just stuck through all of skating. <laughs> Pill, I'm always like, I'm never doing this again. And then on the downhill, I'm like, I'm totally doing this again. Well, good luck to you in the upcoming season. Thank you. <laughs>
I can't believe this. It's insane. I feel like a big kid, like, ooh. High five to that. Yeah. That's my story. Oh, dip in the tires. So at the end of Brag Bry, you dip your tires in the Mississippi River. And so when we finished, you rolled through, it was actually called Victory Park, which was amazing. So Victory Park, you cruise down and there is a welcome line of locals there and they are cheering you on and clapping, saying, welcome to Keokuk. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but, um, and this little girl is down at the end. There's these checkered flags. And so we dip our tires and she says, can you sign my t-shirt for me? And I'm like, what? Like, she's thinking I'm some uh, Olympic uh, cyclist that just rolled in. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'd love to. Sign. Yeah, I'm Kelly from Idaho. And that's what I put. Kelly from Idaho. And then we took a picture together, dipped our tires, and just to see the smile on everybody's faces. And that's Rag Bright.